Hi everyone, in this uh, video I'm going to talk about how you can get uh, the previous and next uh, URL um, of the path in uh, Matum Analytics. Uh, so typically this ID came from, um, let's say, a client of mine. Uh, so the idea is that at the end of the day you can get a report uh, looking like this, in which you know the previous URL, the uh, URL and the next URL. Uh, so you're going to tell me, hey, but I already know that. Uh, it's the transition report. So that's typically what some of my clients are asking. But the prime of the transition report is that uh, it, it's nice, it's beautiful, but when it comes about export, you cannot get it as a CSV file, okay? Which may lead to a lot of uh, frustration. And I think that there's no current plan of making it as a CSV table. So this video is experimental. I just uh, did it on my own. I am not. I, I don't know if there's any cave hits of these methods. Uh, I'm gonna just explain how I did it. So uh, the idea is to create. Uh, so the first thing to know is that you need to have the custom report premium feature to do it. So unfortunately, you will need to have to pay to get it or to use the Matomo Cloud. And um, the, the idea is the following one, is that uh, you can use what we call custom dimensions. So custom dimensions are uh, what you can find over here, custom dimension. You need to define them at uh, the action level. So it means that they are linked to uh, an interaction. <clears throat> so you create two of them, one previous URL, one called next URL. And the issue that you have within Matomo is that you cannot, uh, you, you they, they do not exist in themselves as a, as a dimension, okay? So that's why you need to create them as a custom dimension because they, they don't exist, okay? So if you go over here and uh, create a new custom report and that you try to pick up a dimension, which uh, is in our case, it's a behavior, you see that over here, you never get uh, what we call next URL. Those two are the one that I created as custom dimension, but for the rest, you have, in fact, the URL of the action, the URL of the page, the URL of the entry page, uh, exit page, and download, but you don't have anything which is about the next and previous uh, page. In fact, those two guys that you can see over here, transition, this one, oops, so let me go for JSON file. Okay, previous pages, you see, this dimension, and the other one which is... Uh, uh, following pages, those two dimensions do not exist, in fact, uh, within the, the custom report. So uh, you need to create them as a custom dimension. And then the other issue that you're going to face is that uh, you cannot pick up the URL of the page. Because if you pick up the URL of the page, what is going to happen is that on the given page, you can get the refer, but you cannot get what is the next page action. So in order to overcome this, you need to trick a little bit and to create a tag, <clears throat> a tag which is a click internal links, okay, like this, click internal links. Um, here over the configuration of Matomo, this is where you need to add your uh, two, you need to add your two custom dimensions, so those two refer and click destination URL, which are legacy variables. And then uh, as a trigger, in fact, here it's not perfect by my side. So it's click on a destination URL, which contain my domain name. And I should add, in fact, over here, that's the refer, the um, cannot be empty. In fact, here I should as well precise uh, that it should not be empty. I didn't do it in my exercise here, but I should have done it. If not, you're gonna get as a cav it. Uh, you're gonna get it, uh, doo -doo -doo. where is it? Well, anyway, I'm gonna find it back over here. So uh, the idea is that after you create uh, your report accordingly, so your report will looks like something like this. Uh, so in custom report, you can create up to, you can add up to three dimensions. So previous URL, URL of action, not URL of the page, URL of action, because here it's linked to your event, to your click event, which push you, in fact, the next URL, which is a click destination URL. And uh, after, I think that you should basically add a filter here based on the event that you define. And uh, when it's over, it looks like uh, the report that I was currently showing you. 
So it looks like this, which does not fit your expectation because it's not within separated columns. So we do it like this. And here, this is what I explained that if you don't have the trigger within uh, your, uh, if you don't have the condition within your trigger to not take into consideration when the refer is empty, you will have some time previous URL undefined. So you don't want, you want to remove this part. And here, as you can see, we see that the main path which has been used is this one, then this one, then this one. And now everything uh, seems to work smoothly. And I guess that you can get a CSV report out of it and you can probably be happy with it. Let's see. Yes, definitely. Okay, this is what we wanted. Uh, so it's, uh, in our case, it's comma separated. Uh, so we go for uh, tab, comma, tab and comma. Okay, probably, probably, yes, probably like this. And that's, that's the best that we can get here. Uh, of course, there's always this issue with Matomo that it's still, uh, like, like this, I mean, there's those. Uh, this is probably not the best separator of the year, but that's, that's the way it is. And that's uh, it for uh, today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.